welcome back to April album a day. Uh, we're on day 22, and today's album, can you guess? Do you guys have any idea what it possibly could be, considering that you've already read the title? That is right. It is Yoshimi Battles, The Pink Robots by The Flaming Lips. Uh, a lot of people know this album because of Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, do you realize the song uh, in the third movie? And that's honestly where I learned about the Flaming Lips as well. Um, a lot of people on Reddit talk about the Flaming Lips and suggest their like three album run is one of the best ones uh, of any band in history. Um, I don't know if that's a hot take or not. I haven't listened to all of them in a row, so I will. I might do that now because I like this one, uh, and I'll let you know. But this one, uh, it's an average length album, unlike some of the other ones I've heard uh, this challenge so far. It's only 47 minutes or so. And the ones that really stuck out to me uh, were In the Morning of the Magicians, Are You a Hypnotist, and Do You Realize, probably one of my favorite songs recently that I've heard. Uh, of this genre. Fight Test starts it out really well uh, also, and the two self-titled tracks I really do like, but specifically those three I mentioned in the beginning are my favorite. I really like The Magicians. Anything with magic is cool, uh, but in the morning of The Magicians, I just really like the way it sounds, and then Do You Realize is one of the, the lyrically just the most beautiful song in the album, um, and that's kind of what I liked about this, the album is that it just had a weird concept and it just ran with it. Like, it's crazy. I mean, it is the concept of killer robots and a heroine named Yoshimi that battles them. But it kind of just, the way it talks about it and the way it builds it up musically, instrumentally, is absolutely crazy. I mean, it just, I... I I don't really know how to explain it. The one thing that was negative about it is that it kind of abandons the concept towards the end. Uh, it gets to, I want to say it's in the track list around, I mean, around Do You Realize? And it kind of just abandons that uh, idea of the battling robots and kind of just writes beautiful indie pop uh, synth rock uh, music, to be honest, uh, which I'm not going to complain about because it's awesome and it sounds great. It just, it's supposed, it's like a very heavily, uh, marketed concept album, but it kind of abandons the concept towards the end, which a lot of them do. Like you can't really just freaking follow every single second of the album as a concept, but just kind of keeping it a little more compact with the actual, you know, meaning behind the album would have probably boosted a little bit, but I really do like it. Um, it's crazy. It's just, I mean, do you realize really boost this <laughs> really boost the album? Does it really have anything to do with the concept necessarily, but it's just beautifully written talking about how, you know, learning of your own mortality. I mean, the human experience, um, the warning of technology versus nature. It, it's, a really cool concept that a lot of people think about in their daily lives. I mean, we're all, I'm literally looking at my phone right now. And yes, I do record on my phone. I mean, my phone's always in my pocket. There's always technology. You're probably watching this on a phone, computer, iPad, uh, maybe your TV. But it's just we're always involved with technology. And I think the, not really just the theme behind the album, but the instrumentation as well. Uh, I really like that word recently, if you can't tell, but <laughs> the instrumentation really represents just how, I guess, synthesized and almost just robotic things have become. Um, the music is made to be very heavily uh, synth-based, which makes it sound more robotic and more, um, I guess, futuristic. Uh, kind of reminds me of Radiohead's production. I'd say like OK Rain or sorry, OK Computer, which is also an interesting name involving technology. 
uh, in rainbows as well. That's what I meant to say. I just combined the two, but um, I think those kind of have similar production. This could have somewhat inspiration from that, um, or maybe later projects were inspired by this. We don't know. Very cool. This I'd say this is more of like an indie album than more of a mainstream rock. Like this is really not for everyone. I wouldn't see this being super popular. Um, and I would say that some of the songs can stand on their own. Like I would say the ones I mentioned that I like the most, those could stay on their own and be really good songs. But I feel like it doesn't work as well if it's not the whole thing together. Because it kind of just sounds really random the way they start, if that makes sense. Like it's, it does kind of lead into the next song a little bit. Um, but I guess if Pink Floyd can do it with Dark Side of the Moon, then anyone can do it. So... Um, but yeah, I think that's kind of what I got from it is that it really is better together. Um, but it can still, a few songs can still be on their own and still be just great songs on their own. Um, I gave this an eight out of 10. Uh, I really liked it. I liked it more than I listened to it the first time a few months ago and kind of wasn't really paying attention. I kind of just like said, whatever background music, like, eh, it wasn't really that memorable, well, I wasn't listening hard enough. Now that I actually have, I love it. Um, that's why I recommend listening to albums at least two or three times before you put your final judgment on it, saying you don't like it, because something may click and you may just realize you're missing the point and maybe you just have come around to like it a lot more. So I do also like the almost like hip hop uh, influenced beats. It kind of has like the drum style could be somewhat hip hop, um, as well as just the, like the synth hard rock drum style. Like the drums are really good in this, and I do really love the acoustic songs as well, like the acoustic guitar songs. Um, they just go really well together, and just you know I love my synth. You know I love my synth. Uh, so of course I love the synth in the album as well. But those specific elements kind of work together to make this album great. So. I loved it. Um, they're actually playing in concert uh, somewhat near me pretty soon. I might go see them live and give you guys a review. Um, maybe I'll give some videos and post them and kind of see my thoughts afterwards, but we'll see. Not really sure yet. Uh, I'll have to see how much the tickets are. I'll go ahead and look in a minute, but um, I really did like this. Not sure how their concert... I've, I've heard they're great performers. Just a few reviews I've read about people seeing them live. Like crazy shows, like visuals, freaking balloons, confetti going everywhere, like constantly. But it's more like, I don't know how, how can you mix this song with other album songs? Like, I feel like it kind of is really coherently supposed to be together. Um, so that's what I'm thinking when I am giving it an eight instead of like a nine or a 10 is because I feel like it really only goes with itself. If that makes more sense. Um, if you want to check out the rest of the videos that I have uh, upcoming, um, right up there in the playlist or down below, um, those are the ones I've done so far for April album, April album a day, uh, and I will be doing them until the last day of April, which I will also be revealing my favorite album of all time uh, for now, because that might change. You never know. My my favorites change a lot, so. Um, but yeah, I'd love to have you subscribe and be able to keep up with the ones in the future. I'm not just going to be doing April album a day. Uh, I will start doing normal music reviews coming up. Uh, again, just like more lengthy, extended, more like history and, uh, context of the album. Like, what does it mean? Like this one would be a great one. So I can go into detail about the actual meaning behind it rather than just giving you what I thought off my ear. Um, but there's some videos coming up this week. Like I said, Wednesday, I will be out of town going to a concert. I cannot post a video that day, leaving straight from work. So I will post both Wednesdays and Thursdays videos Thursday night. Um, hope that's okay. Two videos in one day, not bad. But uh, I've got another video coming out this week. I'm about to go edit it. I'm excited about it. Uh, it involves vinyl records. So be on the lookout for that as well. 
Um, lots of good things coming up. I'd love to have you as part of the journey. So without further ado, we'll see you next time.